Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, you've been great. The viewers out there are awesome. I get so many comments. I am doing my absolute best to respond to everybody's comment. I personally feel like if you guys took the time to watch the video and leave a comment, I can take the time to respond to your comments. And I'm sitting here, I just finished up with a rod. I just put it in the drying rack and I was going through some YouTube comments and I'm like, I need to address this because every time I put a video out there where I'm fishing either in a tournament setting or just on the water and it's relatively nice conditions from a weather standpoint, a temperature standpoint, I'm fishing barefoot. And I get so many comments from viewers regarding like how crazy I am for fishing barefoot. I must get a pile of hooks in my foot. There's no reason to do it. Like I'm just nuts for straight up doing it in a, you know, a professional tournament standpoint. So I thought I would address this. I never in a, I never in a million th years thought I would make a video regarding fishing barefoot, but there are so many comments. I feel like I need to do it. So I'm going to address this. I'm going to tell you why I do it and that I think there are a lot of advantages for me. Not everybody else out there necessarily should just go fish barefoot. But for me, I truly think I have an advantage. And it's just not me. There are a lot of other anglers out there. Matt Becker is one of the world's best anglers, in my opinion. He fishes barefoot. There's a lot of guys out there that are doing it. So I want to address why I'm doing it. Now, before you think I'm crazy, this isn't necessarily, you know, I know Randy Blockett did a video about why you should fish with no underwear on. I don't view this as the same sort of thing. Uh, I'm really, I want to give you the guys the reasons because for me, it really does make a big difference. Now, the first question I'm going to address is, do I get hooks stuck in my feet? Honestly, I don't ever recall getting a hook stuck in my foot, at least not buried to the point where I had to do something about it. Have there been times where maybe I caught the edge of a, of a hook or kind of pricked myself? Absolutely, there has been. But first and foremost, because I almost always get questions regarding how many times have I had a hook in my foot, I have not. As far as I can re recall, I have not. And I fish barefoot, honestly, going back to like my original days, you know, when I've got my first bass boat back in 2013, it was a Skeeter TZX 190. So, I mean, I've owned... 15 skeeters since then probably and fish barefoot all summer long and never had a foot a hook in my foot since then so that's that's the first question everyone asks but here's why i do it these are the advantages first and foremost i have such great control of the trolling motor with my toes meaning you know let's look at clark's hill for example i was fishing a lot of docks and by the final day i was concentrating almost solely on docks and in between docks was pretty much dead water for me. So I would fish the dock on a slow speed, then I would zoom to the next dock with the trolling motor if it was close enough for me to efficiently do it with my trolling motor. I would take my big toe and I control the speed on the trolling motor. I literally kick it to high gear, get to the dock, drop it down to a, a slow speed so I can fish, do that all the way down. Now I know a lot of people are like, well, I can do that with shoes on. I can, I can do it as well. I do do it in cold water temperatures, but my control is so much better. I literally use my big toe and move the dial up and down 10% at a time if I need to, or I can swipe it at 50%. The point is I have much better control. I also have much better control when it comes to using, uh, you know, whether I've got any of the spot lock features or I wanna put something, you know, one of the other features on the trolling motor on, I can kick it on. I have much better control, in my opinion, of my power pole up and down buttons. It is something that I truly believe uh, gives me a better advantage. When I'm in shoes, I don't have as good a feel. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying I know, like with my power pole push buttons, I know if it clicks or not because I can feel it with my toe. I don't have that same feeling when I'm wearing flip-flops or when I'm wearing shoes. So the first and foremost, I have better control of my trolling motor features and, and the other things up on the front. Not to mention, I drop a lot of waypoints with my toes. Meaning, if I'm fishing around other guys in practice and I don't want to bend down and go beep beep, I use my toes. I can push the waypoint button with my toes, drop a waypoint just like that. And if you're fishing next to me, 
you never see me make a motion where it looks like I'm I'm dropping a waypoint. So there are advantages to it. I'm not the only one that knows of these advantages or feels like they have these advantages. So that's the first one. The next is I'm a big, tall, clumsy guy, and it's not uncommon for me to lose my balance in the boat, but I feel like I have much better balance when I'm barefoot. 100% if I'm wearing flip-flops, I, my flip-flops are catching on rods, my flip-flops, I might feet are sliding over it if I'm trying to maintain my balance. Flip-flops to me are an absolute no good thing. Now, I'm not saying for you guys, but for me, I'm either fishing in shoes or I'm fishing barefoot. And generally speaking, I would rather fish barefoot than fishing in shoes. So the first or the second is all about balance for me. If I'm fishing in rough water, I feel like I have much better balance in the boat barefoot than I do when I have shoes or flip-flops on. The next just has to do with spatial awareness. Everyone is like, how are you not stepping on hooks? Well, first off, I keep my boat very clean. I have hooks on my rods. That's the only place there are hooks laying in my boat. But the next is, honestly, when I'm wearing shoes or flip-flops, your feet are an inch or more bigger at that point, which means I'm kicking rods. I don't have much space to begin with in the front of the boat. And if you get a pile of rods, every little bit that I have on my foot or not on my foot gives me more room to move around without kicking my rods. So I tend to have much better spatial awareness. I know where I'm at in my boat just by the feel from my feet. I know if I'm standing half on a decal, I've got a striker decal in the front of my boat. If my foot is half on, half off, I know exactly where I'm at in my boat based on what I feel with my feet. So there's a there's a good spatial awareness thing going on there that really does come into play. The next just has to do with the functionality of being barefoot versus wearing shoes or flip-flops. You know, what I mean by that is if it's raining out and I don't have waterproof shoes on, my shoes are getting wet. I don't worry about my feet getting wet at all throughout the day, whether that's me jumping in the water to uh, launch my boat or put my boat on the trailer. Maybe it starts raining. Whatever it is, it's not a concern of mine. And I'm not saying that should be a major concern, but it's just something I don't have to think about throughout the day versus all of a sudden a storm pops up, my shoes are soaked, my feet are wet. That's just more hassle. And lastly, it just comes down to personal preference and comfort. You know, if I'm fishing in a hot summer day, generally speaking, the shoes are just gonna make me warmer and hotter. I feel much cooler on the water when I'm fishing barefoot. It's just something that is very comfortable. I've done it ever since I was a kid, wading small streams barefoot. Like that's just what I've done. So I feel like it just puts me in a better position. And I do truly believe that it, it suits me. It makes me a better angler. I'm not saying everyone needs to go out there and do it, but simply for me, it works. And it blows me away how many comments I get from people that question why I would ever fish barefoot in the boat. So if you're one of those that ask me all the time why I choose to fish barefoot, these are the reasons why. I truly believe that I, that give, it gives me a little bit of an, an advantage for myself. Like I'm saying, it's not perfect for everybody, but when I'm in the boat, if it's not, you know, cold out, I'm going to fish barefoot because that's what works for me. So I apologize to all of you that don't like looking at my feet when I do on the water videos, but you're going to see my toes some more. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this answers your questions. Kind of a fun video, but kind of a serious one as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if you got other questions, put them up in the comment section. I would be happy to answer why I do the crazy things that I do in the boat. But I assure you, most of everything I do is very well pre-planned out and there's reasons why I do it. And if I didn't think they were giving me an advantage, I wouldn't be doing them because I really feel like I need every little advantage I can get over the competition to succeed in this sport. So I'm always looking for those little opportunities barefoot fishing is one of them so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already stay tuned new video coming out tomorrow